We want to be treated like everyone else. We do um, awards because there are many partners that mean a lot to um, the services and the activities that the Ark of North Wind and Anna do, does. And we can't do them without the partners that are so valuable. Um, so it's fun to recognize people who make a serious contribution. So we have a number of awards. It changes a little over time, but the awards that we're getting right now recognize people who um, shine in um, job placements who have disabilities and their employers. We recognize um, people who give more choices in the community to people who um, are learning new choices and making decisions. Vision Award. James has been with the ARC since 1983. I believe James deserves the Vision Award because he has come a long way in his two years as a volunteer at Meals on Wheels. When he first started, he would not go up to the door to deliver, deliver the food unless I was with him. James also would not return the empty containers by himself after all the food deliveries were completed. Now he returns the empty containers by himself. He knows which meals go to each client. He will alert the client's doors by himself, knock on the door, and announce in his personal version, food on wheels. Beverly is the first to jump into a team project, first to coach a consumer, in the middle of the night, first to offer support to the family and first to understand all the personal areas of a person's life that will affect their employment. I'm just doing my job to the best of my ability. I just like to help people and that's why I love this job, because I get to help people in any way I can. My clients, the families, businesses, and my fellow workers. Anything I can do to help is okay with me. So please join me in congratulating Michelle Abeck, the ARC Northwest Indiana 2011 Advocacy Award winner. In addition to his job, Elbert spends many hours as a Special Olympics volunteer. He is proficient in softball, baseball, track and field, golf, swimming, flag football, basketball, ice skating, skiing, and bowling. In 2008, Elbert, at the age of 45, was the Area 1 Athlete of the Year, and he also was the runner-up for that title in the state. Now 47, Elbert still bowls, skis, plays softball, golf, basketball, and swims, but he's found a new passion, coaching Special Olympics athletes. Heartbeats in the bracelet that represent, represent four wonderful decades of, since, of service to those in need. A single pearl is a symbol of how one person can make a profound difference in the lives of others. <coughs> the double hearts are a reminder of, your, of how much you love us and also a thank you to your husband Jim for graciously allowing you or loaning you out to us all these hours of the day and night. We need to let you understand we are not different. We we can't speak for ourselves about issues.